uh, Gaffer, <laughs> just a couple of days ago, uh, we were out behind us, out on the home park pitch, putting in a, a stunning performance. Reflecting on that and, and looking ahead to Charlton tomorrow, how, how keen are you to just harness what we had there and take that forward into the next game? Yeah, if you could bottle that type of performance up and bring it out every time you played, it'd be great, wouldn't it? But it's obviously hard to do that. Uh, it was a really good display from everyone, thought it was so hard to single any individual out. Everybody put massive amount of work rate in and, and they got the full rewards for it. So so yeah, it was good, but it's that's what was going to be required for us to get any points in this division. You, you can't drop your standard. We have to have the energy at that level every single game if we want to try and take points. So we'll be looking to do that on Tuesday. Yeah, the energy was one of the the striking points really especially in in the heat i got a text off elliot afterwards saying all that, <laughs> that mm. warm weather running out in spain has paid off but i presume that's exactly what this pre-season plan was all about days like and saturday and going forward well yeah you just you want to get your, your players as prepared as possible and get them as fit as they can be we have got a fit group last year i remember our running stats and our distances that we that we achieved last year was, was top top draw like really good so that's when we're at our best, when we, when we run, when we when we press teams, when we play with energy, because we've got some good players and when you can unsettle the opposition with what you're doing without the ball and then when you get the ball, can you keep running off the back of them all the time? Then as I said on Saturday, it's hard to stop. So that's what the tough pre-seasons are all about. You need to get everybody as fit and prepared as possible so you can play like that. Tuesday is Charlton. They've looked pretty good actually at the start of the season they got a win against Derby at home mm -hmm. from what I saw we're, we're unlucky against Sheffield Wednesday as well what yeah. have you made of, of their start? Uh, so obviously new manager again gone in there he had done really well last year with Swindon so I remember playing up against them last year they, for Swindon in that mm. Papa John's was it so they play some really good football they've got loads of good movement in, in their shape and how they rotate and they've got really good players. So we looked at Charlton squad last year and said they had one of the strongest squads in League One and just, just didn't seem to get it going for whatever reason. They've still got a large majority of that squad. Plus I think they've recruited well and, and added some better players. So yeah, they're a, they're a really good side. As you said, they played some nice football in the first few games, got a couple of good results. So yeah, and they were unlucky Saturday. It's going to, um, it's going to be a tough one. It was, I think we took 3,000 there last year. It was, I remember yeah. the atmosphere was absolutely rocky and I think for a Tuesday night, mm. I think we sold just under 800 at the moment. Yeah. Um, which, again, you can imagine the atmosphere will, will be huge yeah. again on, on Tuesday. We're going to need it, probably, aren't we? Definitely. I think that, that was one of the, um, obviously we lost the game last mm. year at the Valley and it stopped our run, didn't it? We were on a great run and it was where we lost our first game and so many and... I remember coming away from the game thinking that's the most disappointing because we didn't give the fans anything to cheer and there were so many of them behind the goal but look, we worked hard that day, we, the game was really close and it was decided on a set play, two small margins and, and they managed to get the victory but hopefully we can give our fans who have travelled again in their numbers uh, to chart onto the valley and hopefully we can give them something to celebrate this year. And we'll let you go because you've got to train to catch, haven't you? <laughs> I have, and I'm absolutely sweating. So I'm just come out to shower. So, so yeah, let's try and cool down before we go for that walk to the train. Top stuff, Gaffer. Best.